This is your Weather Extreme video for Tuesday, December the 27th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Got an active weather pattern here for the next week or so. Satellite image shows that we have a good deal of cloudiness as well as some fog over the southeastern United States. Fog's a little hard to see because on the infrared picture it uh, takes on the temperature of the ground. But you'll notice over Georgia and uh, south Alabama there, especially the southeast part of Alabama and north Florida, that uh, we don't see any rivers or lakes. So that's basically because we're seeing the fog, which is, take, which is nearly the temperature of the ground. The front has arrived uh, pretty much as uh, we have been forecasting. It has uh, come past Muscle Shoals. You'll see that their wind is out of the northwest here in just a second. In the upper atmosphere, the main dynamics, the main upper uh, trough is off to the uh, northeast of us over southeastern Canada, but the trough uh, is dragging that front down into our area. You can see that uh, the wind has come around to the northwest at Muscle Shoals when we look at the observations across the southeastern U.S. All those uh, fog symbols, though, ahead of the front uh, has resulted in some dense fog advisories. Radar showing that uh, pretty much as we've been saying that uh, we won't have a continuous uh, rain area with this front. It'll be uh, scattered showers, and that's indeed what we're seeing so far. So not everybody is going to get wet, unfortunately, but a fairly good chance that we'll see some rain in, in spots anyway. The uh, watch warning map uh, is uh, fairly uncomplicated. The gray areas you see across the Gulf Coast and across parts of southeast Alabama and Georgia and the, uh, north Florida, that is all dense fog advisories for this morning. Fog expected to burn off generally around the 9 a.m. time. And then the purples and pinks uh, that you see in the northern Rockies, those are all winter weather advisories and warnings. QPF-wise now, it looks like today's event as well as Thursday's event uh, will result in rainfall on the order of about a quarter to three quarters of an inch of rain uh, over the southeastern U.S. That's going to help with the drought, but not certainly not put a big dent in it. The good news is that we're looking at a potentially uh, one and a half to three inch e event that will be coming around the first of the year. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Storm Prediction Center has no severe weather outlook for day one, nor for day two, and not for day three, but they are keeping thunder in our area uh, as we maintain some marginal instability. All right, the 060 GFS model run, and there's our uh, zonal flow, and uh, because of that, the front is not going to be able to push very far to the south, and you can see that the front is uh, slowly uh, washing out as it becomes parallel to the upper flow, uh, and there's no push for it to get any further. We end up with kind of a transition day on Wednesday. The, the flow is nearly zonal across the entire southern part of the U.S., uh, but we are watching on, two, on Wednesday, we are watching that uh, trough beginning to develop there to our north, and that means that it's going to be one of those things where we'll put in a small percentage for showers, but I think for the most part, most of us will stay dry on Wednesday. Now, that trough digs in on Thursday, and because that trough is digging in rather dramatically, it will produce a, a fast-moving cold front. And uh, yesterday, it looked like the front would probably bring us rain during the day on Thursday. The GFS is actually a little bit faster this morning, and it now looks like the weather should be primarily between about 10 p.m. on Wednesday evening and about 10 a.m. on Thursday morning. So that's really good if you have plans to head for the Birmingham Bowl. Uh, that uh, is played beginning at 1 p.m. on Thursday. So it looks like the rain should be out. As a matter of fact, we might even see some sunshine before the game is over. The flow goes northwesterly, so the front really just is gone out of the area. So we turn uh, much colder for Friday and again on Saturday as the flow comes back to zonal. Uh, but on Friday and Saturday, we're looking at lows probably uh, in the range of about 27 to 30 and afternoon highs in the lower 50s. So it's going to be much more typical of this uh, time of year. And uh, on Saturday, of course, we're also beginning to watch the developments to our west as the flow begins, the upper flow begins to go um, uh, southwesterly, and that brings in good Pacific moisture. And it looks like right now the GFS is suggesting that we could see some rain in our western counties uh, by afternoon hours. The southwesterly flow really establishes on Sunday uh, with a nice, uh, a fairly strong uh, trough over uh, extreme southern California and coming into uh, Arizona. 
and that uh, is going to be responsible for rain back there as well as producing rain out over uh, the southeastern U.S. and along the Gulf Coast. So it looks like we could have for the first day of January and into the second day of January, we could have a good off and on rain situation. We can see that that trough comes out on uh, Monday, the 2nd of January. Uh, so that does look like a big rain day with a good soaking rain. And again, the rain in this event could be on the order of uh, one and a half to three inches. And that certainly would be nice. As we uh, go out into the voodoo country, that uh, strong trough system moves into the Great Lakes, and so that uh, drags the front through our area uh, by Tuesday. And that, again, we're verging on voodoo country out here with a pretty uh, substantial storm system at the surface over the uh, Great Lakes. Now, extending out into voodoo country, and we, we see that uh, on the 5th of January, we have a bit of a trough coming uh, into the mid-Mississippi River Valley. Uh, we see that that continues again on the 7th as we have another trough uh, coming across the mid-Mississippi River Valley. And yet, uh, towards the end of the period, around 348 hours, we see another one uh, approaching the Dakotas. So it looks like the flow remains pretty fast. But one of the screaming messages in all of this is that there's no real uh, amplitude to any of these troughs. And so we're going to stay relatively mild as we uh, head for the first 10 days of 2017. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. I expect to have the next one posted by 7 to 7.30 on uh, Wednesday morning. In the meantime, certainly hope that your location gets some rain today. Again, being scattered showers, it's uh, not everybody gets wet. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.